Hi, this is Mark Cunaverdi. Welcome to another edition of Investing in Community, where we cover the amazing organizations, events, nonprofits, businesses, things happening around the county and beyond, and bring them to you through social media. And today, I'm with the lovely Eileen Mello. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Mark. Hello, everyone. We are in Auburn. We're at the Gold Country Wildlife Rescue Center, and specifically at the Wildlife Intake Center, where folks from all over bring in rescued and orphaned wildlife for rehabilitation. Started in 1991 by Sally Sue Stein. She's here. She's going to show us around. We've been inside incredible animals. You're in for a real treat. You ready to go? I am. All right, let's do it. Hi, everyone. So we're here in Auburn at the Gold Country Wildlife Rescue Center. I'm with Sally Sue Stein, the founder of the organization, and Greg Grimm, who is a rehabilitator. And of course, this is Bella, a gorgeous ambassador bird. She is a great horned owl. We're very excited to be here. And Sally Sue, can you tell me, I know this is a nonprofit. You have volunteers who work here. You have staff who work here. And you're bringing in wildlife of all different species, from small mammals to uh, predator birds to songbirds. So tell me what exactly we do here at the WIC. Well, Gold Country Wildlife Rescue is a 501c3 nonprofit, as she said, and we have a permit from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife to take in sick, orphaned, and injured wildlife, rehabilitate it, and put it back in the wild. That's our goal, is to release wild, healthy animals. So a, a great question then is, why is Bella here with us if most of the animals are rehabilitated and released back into the wild? Bella came to us um, because she, somebody tried to raise her. as a, They found her as a cute little owlet. And when these little owls hatch, they're adorable little balls of fluff. And it's very tempting. So um, they ended up, when she got this big, realizing they'd bitten off more than they could chew. And she came to us. And I'll let Greg tell you a little bit more about how what an ambassador bird is. So one of our ambassador birds, and Bella is an example of it, are non-releasable animals that we use for educating the public about wildlife. There is something special about seeing one of these animals up close and personal and understanding the impact that they have on our environment and therefore our ability to be sustained on this earth. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you, Greg. And also, Sally Sue, can you tell me um, if I'm if I'm a person who has found an injured bird or an orphaned animal, wh who, what kind of animals can I bring into you? You can bring in any native California wildlife to us. If we get something like a bear cub, for instance, we can't care for it here, but we can make sure it gets to the place that it needs to be cared for. So basically, you can bring anything to us. We will take it, and we will see that it's properly cared for. Wonderful. So thank you so much, Sally Sue. I appreciate thank you. your time. Thank you, Greg. And of course, thanks to Bella. <laughs> so when an animal is brought to us by a rescuer, like this little Virginia opossum that fell off of a roof, this is their first stop, triage room, where they get examined. So what's your name, sir? Juan Pena. Okay, Juan, what do you got in the box? An opossum. Okay, so Sally Sue, in he goes, right? Yeah, we're gonna take him inside and we'll get him examined. And Juan, I think you said, you think he fell off a roof. Yes. So. <laughs> All right. He may need some help. There you go. So the next stop after they've been through triage is they come to our critical care area some birds go into incubators or little mammals, like this little morning dove. This is our diurnal wing, where the animals that are awake during the day come to grow up. So, uh, what are you feeding there? I'm feeding a little baby squirrel. A little baby squirrel. Okay, so on occasion, it's maybe not the best thing to bring an animal in. Correct. Sometimes we get fledgling birds, and it's really hard to watch a fledgling because they spend part of their time on the ground while they're learning to fly. The parents will support them, will feed them, and encourage them, but they need to go through that process. So this is a? This is a fledgling scrub jay. That was probably learning how to fly. Exactly. I got it. But cats and dogs are a threat to the little fledglings, right? Right, right. So sometimes people can't keep in their cats and dogs, and so they end up bringing the birds to us. So this is. Uh, That's why they keep me out here. That's an opossum. Opossum. You know you're afraid. Diurnal opossums. Passed out. Shh. There you go. 
and then he'll kind of hang with his mouth open. Oh man! All right. And he's tiny. If you want to. What are you gonna feed him? This is called emery carnivore. It's just to kind of bulk Side them up it. when they're little. Okay. Give it a shot. <laughs> no feathers. Gotta keep them warm. Yeah. That is a tiny little bird. Okay, here at the Wildlife Intake Center in Auburn. Um, Ali, what do you think? Oh, Gold Country Wildlife Rescue is doing such amazing work. And we're in this gorgeous region, the Sierra Nevada foothills. So if you find a small little animal or bird that needs help, you know, to bring them to the wind. That's right. This was founded in 1991 by Sally Sue Stein. She's done a great job, great organization, all sorts of amazing animals here. Amazing volunteers. We'll have contact information at the end of this video. Donation, how you can volunteer, and uh, phone number. So that does it for another edition of Investing in Community, where we bring the amazing events, organizations, businesses, and things like the Intake Center to you that happen around the county, to you through social media. If you'd like to send us an email, you can do so at news at moneymanagementradio.com. My name is Mark Converti. And I'm Eileen Mello. Thank you so much for joining us. Woof. No. Sure. Sure.